I mean, the bad things that I did were not selling drugs. The bad things I did were throwing fucking raves and throwing, you know, fucking cutting the locks off of warehouses and doing those bad things. At the end of the day, I, I never really wanted to be someone else per se because I know I couldn't. So I gotta kind of find my own angle of being who I am and kind of take the good and the bad of people and the stories of stuff that you get with music, especially with music. Vegas, to me, just to like jump off, is Vegas is a great place to reinvent yourself. It's a great place to come here and fucking like switch shit up and shed all your bullshit from home and create or manifest a new thing with everything you've learned and maybe even steal some stories here or there. Like that becomes your persona of like the things you've fucking done, you know? I got into stuff by meeting people and liking different things and then learning about inner cultures of things. I've always wanted to know, it's just been my thing as a nerd, just wanting to know like these records and like when they come out and who's on them and who played on what, what label, to want to know all those things. The reason why I like bands and music so much is because it's like, it's all these people bringing this stuff together. Even as much as I, I work on stuff by myself, I love collaborating with people. And I wonder because I collaborate with people so much if people think that I even do anything. <laughs> There is a lot of shit here that people don't understand, you know? They don't understand certain elements of what's art and what's not, but I'm talking about, you know, your typical, you know, some of the typical people that, that unfortunately work in the nightclub industry. Worrying about the stains on the carpet, worrying about the wings on the, the chicken wing sauce or whatever the fuck they're worried about, <laughs> instead of worrying about just like watching the fucking money from being stolen or watch the skim and make sure it happens. I don't know what your job is. My job is to play music. It should be the last thing you fucking worry about. I've dealt with that like so many times with like people like telling me your job's on the line tonight, kid. I've had my record box fucking held at clubs and tell me, fuck you, come and take it. And be like, come on, man, dude, just give me my fucking records. Let me get out of here, keep the paycheck and just let me go. These records are more valuable to me than my fucking, than the, than the money. Just give me my records and let me go. I can't hunt these records down again. You know, as much as I bitch about it, I, like, like I thrive on you know, what the fuck's gonna happen today? Like, I like the pressure, and I like, like, kind of like taming the impossible. It's kind of like playing with fire for me. I still have special moments and stuff, and I find special moments because I'm still into it. Like, you know, my, my whole thing is when I come on stage, I transcend all of my daytime shit and become, you know, like, toast. <laughs>